All right, it is now 12.15, the meeting is back to order. If you're standing around, please grab a seat. We have two items left. Mr. Blob, for what purpose, can I make the announcement, please? We have two items left. They are A.6, which is four and six, and B.26, which is EPH+. That's all we have left. Uh, Mr. Blog. While uh, um, I feel that we were out of order with EPH because, and I'm not asking, I do not want to revisit it or revote on it, but I feel that there was no substantive debate on the underlying amendment itself the for ratification. Point of I hold on, please. We, there was, the we, point we, of order is not well taken. We've passed the. I'm not asking. For, I'm not saying that. I'm just then, saying. It's not a point of then order. there's no point of making the point of order. <laughs> Mr. O'Halloran, for what purpose does the member rise? Could somebody run him a mic? He does. Correct me if I get my phrasing correct. I'd like to move to resolve to thank the Hugo administrators and the team that reviewed EPH and its numbers and its stats, and in particular, Mr. McCarthy for all his work and staying up all night long to provide the report and the stats for us today. Is there any objection to that? Seeing none, so resolved. Dave. <laughs> Dave has no idea we thanked him, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to move. For what purpose, Mr. Kowalczyk? Also, at some point, you should announce that the Colette. This may or may not be in order. I'd like to move to suspend the rules and uh, instruct next year's Yugo administrators to provide the long list both in the uh, original form that it would have been and the form that EPH provided. Has to be a, it, it's not a rule, it's just a resolution. Yeah, we can request, we can't tell them to do anything. <laughs> Mr. Quinn, for what purpose Wait, do you? Wait, let me get this down here. I want to respond. Wait, wait till it's seconded and stuff. And we have a there, there, second. there was a second. Okay. It's a resolution of the business meeting to, re to request. Yeah. Do you, Mr. Kowalczyk, do you want to give an opening? Well, let him make an opening remark, and then you can, I assume that yours is a speech against. There are many people in the room who, who are still very confused about EPH, and um, in order to be able to rationally decide next year whether to suspend EPH for a year or do something else with it, vote it down in 2022, stand on our heads or whatever, more data is good. Um, unfortunately, we probably won't have as many printers in Helsinki as we had here, but um, I think it's really something this meeting needs, and I think the majority of the meeting really likes this, and I'm sorry that uh, some people think uh, computers are wonderful. Um, Mr. Quinn, did you? And then. Jameson Quinn, so that information is already in the information that would be given under EPH, I mean under EPH. The, the, the same information is included. It is a subset of the information. No, that's not what he's asking, Jeff. They wanted the regular count and then the EPH count. Yes. The, the resolution is requesting the administrators to run the data through both mechanisms. Right. And the regular count is part of what is used in EPH and thus appears in the EPH data. So what Mr. Quinn is saying is that the nomination counts are used in EPH and therefore, with a little work on their own personal end, members could back into it. But Mr. Kabal. The same thing that Dave is here, basically. Right. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to make the people who think EPH, to, to be 
Okay, yes, yes. I, I, I understand. And Is there anyone wishing to speak I do not oppose. in favor of the resolution? Ms. Secor, please come to the microphone. I would request that if this meeting chooses to pass this resolution, it is with the understanding. Sure. Sorry, I thought I was close enough. I would like to request that the meeting keep in mind that this require that you would almost certainly prefer that we uh, request the cooperation of Mr. McCarty and Mr. Oakes to use the existing software to run the comparison, and that in order to do that, we are not only putting a burden on next year's Hugo administrators, but also on this year's Hugo administrators, at the very least, to provide the software and help us figure out how to run it. Because Otherwise, we have to roll two systems, and that's an intolerable burden on us. Yeah, that, that was, I'm going to rule that that was debate, not a point of personal privilege. Um, so I'm looking for a speech in favor of the resolution. Dr. Adams, you rose first. Uh, Andrew Adams. The information from EPH will be quite complex to produce, but so will the, the process of, of doing it. The uh, original data um, is relatively simple to pull out from that, and this will not be a significant burden on the administrators next year, in my opinion. Is there anyone wishing to speak against the resolution? <coughs> Dr. Science? I think uh, we, must, we should be aware that EPH is, has a high chance of changing who gets the Hugo Awards for the dramatic presentation categories and for the art categories. It has happened. It, that's what happened with the 2014 data. Both the first and second place pro artists were knocked out by EPH. You, if you, although the data is easily derived, if you publish it, people will know who lost the Hugo, who deserved to win the Hugo, and did. Can I get That I, I'm not sure what the objection was. Is that's debate on whether or not we should run. N no, that was a debate on publishing both sets of data. That is a perfectly germane debate. People's feelings. All right, I'm going to ask for a speech in favor of the resolution. Mr. Ms. Hayes. Wait, no, wait, I thought you were asking for a time now. Yes. Is, is there some manner in which we could get the opinion of next year's Co Hugo administrator about whether she supports the If motion. she gains the floor, I haven't seen her try and gain it. Ms. Ms. Hayes, a speech in favor. I wish to speak in favor of this motion as we, earlier we passed a motion or part of a motion that we would re evaluate EPH. Therefore, we have to have something to reevaluate it with. So I would like to have this data available so that we can make some sort of intelligent decision. Ms. Fossard, would you like a point of personal privilege? I guess so, yes. Um, my name is Colette Fazard, and I am Deputy Hugo Administrator for WorldCon 75. And uh, we, WorldCon 75 will be the first system to, first uh, through on EPH. And I'm just going to say I have not made any input on this because, uh, you know, we, the, the, the administrators and I, we will, of course, you know, we will implement EPH as, as now uh, required by the WISFIS Constitution. And um, I don't feel it's appropriate for me to give input on uh, to sway the, the, this debate of the membership. All right, I'm looking for a speech against the... I move to call question. Is there a second? Is there any objection to calling the question? Seeing none, <laughs> we're going to call the question on the resolution requesting next year's Hugo administrators to run the data through the system that has now 
gone out of practice in addition to actually running it through EPH for actual use in the Hugos. Nomination data. Yes. And you want it provided on the long list, correct? Okay. Does everybody understand what the resolution is? All right. All those in favor? Hi, Man Rosen. I understand that EPH changes what the long list can be, right? Yes. So, no. I, if we're asking to provide the data, yeah, how the the two results will be. They would basically take the base nominations and run them through both systems and present both sets of information. All right. We're going to vote on the underlying on the resolution. All those in favor, please raise your hands. Hands down. All those opposed. All right, the ayes appear to have it, the ayes do have it. The next year's Hugo administrators are requested to run both sets of mechanisms and report back the nominating data. Sorry, now we're going to get to A.6, which is 4 and 6 on page 8 of your agendas. We have 10 minutes of debate. Mr. Goldstein, for what purpose does the member rise? Come forward. I, no. uh, Ari Goldstein, I move to amend 4.6 to have the same clause that we put on EPH to, that have the, that it, can, it, is, it, is a, it is available for suspension uh, each year. Is there a second? Second. Do we need to debate this? No. All right, all those in favor of the amendment. It's the exact same clause except changing the word EPH for 4 and 6. <laughs> All those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The motion is amended. Mr. Desjardins, as the maker of 4 and 6, would you like to give a speech in favor? Now that it's been Uh, Stephen Desjardins, I first have a parliamentary inquiry. Am I correct that if I were to move to amend the section 3.71 to replace the number four with the number five and the meeting were to approve that amendment, that would be a lesser change? It is the opinion of the chair that yes, that would be a lesser change. I so move. Is uh, do you want to also change it further down? In, uh, yes. Yeah. Any re I assume yes. Yes. It's yes. any references yes. to the number four yes. would Thank be changed you. to yes. five. Reference, yes, references to the number of nomination threads. All right, Thank I you. heard a second. Is there any objection to objection. that amendment? Objection. All right. Do we need to debate this? I mean, I, I, th I think I hear a request. So, Mr. Desjardins, as the maker of the motion, please give an opening. All right. Uh, well, first, I would want to compare 5 and 6 to 5 and 5, the existing system. Under EPH, basically, the same five things that would have made the ballot under 5 and 5 will still make the ballot. We'll add one more. And in my quick review of the 2015 and 2016 data, about 75 to 80 percent of the time, what was added was a non-slate work. And the rest of the time, a slate work that got knocked off by EPH gets back on. And I think it is much more important to have a wide selection of non-slate works to choose from on the final ballot. Having something from the state get back on is not a, as big a deal. So I think this will be a substantial improvement over five and five. And compared to four and six, I think the four it hurts non-state voters more than it hurts state voters because they're going to get one of their nominations knocked off anyway. They're going to go down, go down to four, whereas the non-state voters who aren't as organized, it just dilutes our voting power a little bit. And if you look at the simulations they ran on pages 20 to 23, looking at EPH plus, I think you'll find that that supports that. The other point I'd like to make is that it's a lesser change 
from the current, the current system. And the nomination process stays the same as far as the nominators are concerned. I think that is a benefit. And finally, I think we also have to consider the case where this whole rabbit puppy thing goes away. And is this a good change on its own merits in the regular order of things? And I think that it is. I think the field is get, it's getting diverse, getting diverse stylistically, geographically, in terms of subgenres. And I think modestly expanding the number of works we put on the ballot will be good for everyone. I understand that there are people who disagree with that, and that is a perfectly valid reason for voting against this amendment. I acknowledge that. I don't think debate will change that. I just want to make that point. Thank you. Mr. Don, for what purpose does the member rise? And arguments it. Okay. A question, a point of information. Yes, come to the microphone. Cliff Dunn. Cliff Dunn. How many, I just have to ask, how many people actually use all five nominations versus four? That's not, nope. That's not in order. The point of information is for, to learn, the point of information is to get clarity on what the motion does. This is not, not a question on what the motion does. Mr. Goldstein. I don't, I don't, Kate, Kate and Lisa. All right, Goldstein again. Um, so the one thing was mentioned is that this doesn't significantly change the current procedure. Given that we just passed EPH, is current procedure going to be uh, determined as what we did this year or what EPA or, or, or EPH, given that we just changed what the procedure is? Uh, the real question is whether it's a large, greater or smaller change. Yeah, basically. Right. Because it's, it's a clearly, smaller that's change. A change smaller because it change. strikes three right. changes from Absolutely. the Constitution. Yeah. The change in the Constitution was to go from five to four. If we get rid of that change, it is therefore a lesser change. Okay, thanks. Ms. Hayes, you were looking to gain the floor, or speech against. For the record, um, uh, all of the time in favor of the amendment has expired, but you have time. Go ahead. I wish to point out to this body that the previous Worldcon spent a business meeting, spent an inordinate amount of time picking specific numbers. I feel any change is a greater change. Therefore, that body passed this on to us after very great deliberation. We should consider that there was a lot of deliberation on those numbers, and those are the numbers we should yay, say yay or nay on. Yep. Mr. Cronigold, for what purpose does the member rise? Question. There's less than... There's one minute and a half on the hands. Okay. There's, there's a motion that's been seconded, I believe. Um, this is just a question on the amendment that we passed, and we referred to the previous amendment. Um, does that also mean that this would expire in 2022, if not ratified then? Yes. Yes. We, okay, thank you. Our, yes, Ms. Park, can you? Sorry. Uh, ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> the wording, Kate Park, the wording on the last sentence of 3.7.1 states four equally weighted nominations. Uh, is that required to be changed? No. And if so, is that a lesser or a greater change? It's already been. All the references to four would change to five. I am asking for a change, whether a change is needed for equally weighted no. in the light of EPH. No. 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 Sorry. That would have been changed by EPH. This is, could stand as an independent to amend change to the Constitution. <coughs> yes. Come to the mic, please everybody, if you can, come to the lecterns. There's feedback from the wireless mic and there are lip readers up front who really would like to 
Yeah, sorry, uh, Hyman Rosen. I would just like to point out that equally weighted uh, refers to the fact that's that when debate. people nominate, it's not that's debate. It's out of order. There's a motion to call the question. It's been seconded. Is there any objection to calling the question on the amendment to change all references to four to five? I see an objection. Therefore, we're going to vote on calling the question. All those in favor of calling the question. All right, hands down. All those opposed. All right, the ayes appear to have it, the ayes do have it. The question is called. We are now voting on the, mo the amendment to four and six, which would change it to five and six, changing all references that say four to five. All those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? Uh -oh. Ooh. Ooh. I think no's, but. <laughs> I'm going to say the no's have it. I heard a call for division. How many people would like to divide? Uh, Plenty. Yeah, all right. <laughs> do we have this system down, or do I need to repeat it? <laughs> all those in favor of the amendment, please stand if you can. Well, hold up the blue card. All right, to the front, Lenore. 66. 57. 68. Up front. 69. 70. 73. 74. 78. 79. 81. 82. 83. 84. Is there anyone wishing to vote in favor who believes they didn't get counted? All right, all those opposed, please stand if you can. No. Over here. 36, 37. All right, so the motion passes. The um, four and six is now changed to five and six. I'll strike everything but 381. Or restore, really. Yeah. All right, Mr. Desjardins, do you want to give an opening or a argument in favor of the now amended motion? All right, is there anyone wishing to speak against now five and six? 
Seeing no one, I'm going to put the question to the floor. All those in favor of ratifying five and six, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The motion is ratified. We now have one item of business left. It is EPH. For what purpose does the member rise? I'd like to make a motion uh, similar to the one that was made following EPH that we request data from next year presented at the business meeting regarding the Department of Energy Conservation Program. Is that correct? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to repeat it, and I already know what. So we are now going to re move to resolve to request the Hugo administrators. i actually not sure how they can, but. To, to request the Hugo administrators to run the data through both EPH, and the uh, old system, and five and... F point, point yeah. I don't think this is possible. Be a, you, I think we get the data in the existing report. Yeah, it, it would be five and six, and you would just lose the last person on the ballot when you... Yeah. 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 If you want the actual data when it's not five and six and it's five and five, just lose the sixth person on the other the system we requested before. We're now, Mr. Kowalczyk, for what purpose does the member rise? Come to the microphone if you can, please. They tell me this is 16 minutes. We have a motion. We up to five and six, yes. It was sunsetted as per EPH with the. I move to adjourn Sindai. There's an objection. We're going to vote on this. We have EPH plus. There is one item of new business remaining. However, that is not unfinished business, which means, actually, no, because it was, it was a general order. It got postponed definitely. Yep, it did. We have to take it up. Yep, that's not an order. Unfortunately, well. Yes. Second. Is there an objection? Yes. Yeah, all right. This Yes. Miss Neal. Terry Neal, and I've lost track of what the last item is. Could you repeat it's, it, please? The last item is EPH plus. As it was... Page 17. Page 17. As it was postponed definitely to today, it constitutes a general order which means that we have to handle it and we can't technically adjourn sine die. However, if we, move, if we vote to suspend the rules, we are allowed to do that. I heard an objection to doing so, so we're going to vote on suspending the rules and adjourning sine die. Does everybody understand that? Two thirds. All those in favor of suspending the rules and adjourning sine die, please raise your hands. Hands down. All those opposed? The noes appear to have it. The noes have it. We uh, have two thirds, I think. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take up EPH plus. Mr. Quinn, do you want to make a speech in favor? We have 16 minutes equally divided. I, I would like to reserve my right to make a speech in favor, but I also want to move that we do the same suspending thing. We add that. Go to committee of the whole, you mean? No, 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 no. no he no, wants no, no, to no, add no, the, no, 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 no. The, sunset, the same the, clause that we've uh, now added to EPH and, and five and six to this. So yes. the business meeting may suspend for one year. And I do not and want to make a speech about that. Through 2022. Yeah. Is there an, yes, Mr. Stern, do you have a? Uh, yeah, I don't think that that, that applies um, because it, this only append, amends 3.8.1. It doesn't oh, change yes, anything you're right, you're right. from sorry. EPH at all except 3.8.1. No, I withdrawn. Withdrawn, it's already applied, yes. You're right, <laughs> right, no, no. Let me go back. Correct. To. Sorry. <laughs> okay, the motion is okay. withdrawn. Would you like to make a speech in favor of EPH plus? We just passed EPH. Whatever work the administrators are going to have to do for EPH is already passed. 
This is zero extra work, but it gets us extra benefit. Let's pass it. Is there a speech? Mr. McCarty, a speech against? My name is Dave McCarty. Uh, I will not say that I am perpetually against EPH any more than I am against EP, uh, EPH plus any more than I am against EPH. However, at no point do we really have data to show you about what EPH does for real. I would urge us to delay taking this up until everybody has a chance to see the difference and the, nobody has a chance to see what the difference is this year. Please don't take our word for it. Just delay taking up EPH plus and let us release. We can do all the data sets under old way EPH, EPH plus and make an informed decision. But that needs to wait until at least Helsinki. But we should, yes, but ratification is a different thing. We should do that before we adopt it is my opinion. Thank you. The point of information. Daniel Rigo, R-E-G-O. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that uh, this is uh, tied to the original EPH, and if the e uh, original EPH is s suspended or voted down, that this would also care be care Yes. Less. Okay, I just want to clarify that. Is there a speech in favor? Mr. I'd like to call question. Is there a, the speaker has call moved to call the question. Is there any objection to calling the question? Yes. All right, we're going to vote on calling the, uh, who wants to speak? Who is left, who wants to speak? All right, we're go now going to vote on calling the question. This requires a two thirds vote. All those in favor of calling the question, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed, I'm going to say the ayes have it. The ayes do have it. The question is called. We are, Mr. Koningol, for what purpose does the member rise? There's a, there's a, yeah. I don't have words, but no. Those are words. All right, we are now going to vote on EPH plus. All those in favor of EPH plus, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the ayes have it. The ayes do have it. The motion is passed and will be sent on to Worldcon 75 for ratification. For what purpose does the member rise? Second. Is there any objection to adjourning sine DA? Seeing none, we are adjourned. Everybody drink some coffee. We paid for it.